Hey everybody, it's Jesse, and the uh, site is almost ready to launch. Today is going to be probably the most random video I've done, because I'm just trying to handle a few changes that came in just today, uh, and just clean up a couple of things that I noticed when I was testing. So I don't know if this ever happens to you. But uh, sometimes things just come up at the last minute, so we got to try to try to get them fixed. You can see my my Trello board here. You got a lot of stuff in the done column. I have some things in the to do column still, uh, and a lot of these are color coded now. Um, the uh, kind of dark gray color means they're on hold, they, they won't make it in before launch. Um, the yellow, I don't even remember what I named these, on hold. Okay, so the gray is, the dark gray is if time allows, which at this point we don't have time, so they're all going to be after. And then the other ones are on hold for for some, some other reason. Uh, maybe I just haven't made up my mind about whether I want to actually do them or not. So... Most of these things in this column at this point are not making it in. So the only columns we have to worry about are this one and this one. Um, the last thing here is the point to domain to the server. So obviously once that happens, the site is launched. Hey everybody, I got some people saying hi in the, uh, in the live chat. And um, I am still sick. So yesterday I was sick. Today I am even more sick than I was yesterday. <laughs> so I apologize in advance if I'm a little bit all over the place. To tell you the truth, I've been having trouble focusing today. Um, I, I keep forgetting to reset my Pomodoro timer and so it's just been weird. So I'm trying to have some, get, take some energy drinks and things like that to try to stay awake uh, and be alert enough to do this. So you all help me out today. Uh, if you see me doing making some crazy mistake, please call me out on it. Uh, thanks. I'm gonna say get well soon. Thanks. Hopefully, I will. Hopefully, after the site launches, I won't be working crazy hours. Uh, yesterday, when I left yesterday, I had already put in a whole week's worth of time, according to my normal work week, uh, and it was only Wednesday, so. That's probably not helping my illness that I'm uh, working all the time. Uh, but yeah, so after today, today might be late again, but after today I should be able to relax a little bit and hang out with my family. Uh, all right, so let me tell you what I was working on. Um, you got me right in the middle of a, a Pomodoro session, so I timed my thing, so I have about six minutes left in this session. I'm working on this adding a hover effect to the menu. So one of the changes that was requested, and let me bring this over so I can show you. One of the changes that was requested was to, let me bring this over because I need that at some point. Might as well bring it over now. Was to add a hover effect to the menu. So before we had nothing, nothing happened when you hovered. Um, now, I have a little hover, but here's the problem. There's always a problem. This seems like, oh, this would be so easy. So there were several problems. One was uh, the way I had set this up, um, these LIs, they didn't actually cover like the whole height of this. So when you hovered, it was just this tiny little rectangle that was make, getting colored. So I had to change that up a little bit. So I got that. It was basically editing some line heights and padding. Not really a big deal, but just kind of annoying, tedious stuff. Uh, so I got that sorted, and um, now I I have this issue. So right now this, this works, right? It looks okay, it works. But when I scroll down, it no longer works. <laughs> so uh, luckily I remembered what was going on with this menu so I know why it's doing that so let me show you I need to make this bigger I'm sure that you all probably can't see this 
Um, so basically what happens with this menu, I have way too many things open. Let's just close some things up. All we really need is, is sticky nav and app.js and and the styles. Okay, so basically what I tried to do was use this uh, JSX style thing. Um, I don't even remember what it's called officially. Um, uh, it's part of Next. Well, it, it comes packaged with Next. I think it's just JSX or CSS and JSX, something like that. But basically, it lets you write right in your component. If you can see here, you can write all the styles. Uh, so it gets applied here, but it's scoped. So this this is locally scoped to this component. So these styles won't like bleed out on anything else on the page, which is really cool. You can make a self-contained component, and uh, assuming you're not overriding anything with your other style sheets, you can actually just leave it named, you know, whatever you want. So I just you know, I just put UL here because I know it'll only affect this UL. I don't have to worry about putting a long string of like I did here, which is the only reason I had to do this is because I was already using it like this in the main style sheet, and I don't have time to go through and clean that up yet. Um, I'm sure if you work with CSS for any length of time, you know how this is. That at some point, it's just easier to to do this than to try to find uh, where everything is, especially when you're uh, short on time. Uh, but really what will happen is once I, if I can get all the styles moved into here, then I can just take it out of the main style sheet and it'll be fine. But here's the problem. Whenever, let me go in, in the JavaScript to show what we're doing with this sticky nav. Uh, so, if you can follow along here, we're actually cloning, so this long string of jQuery things is actually uh, cloning that menu. So let's go back and see. So when I scroll down, the original menu has now just been hidden. You can actually see a little bit because the, the styles change. You can see the padding changes slightly and the hover uh, is gone. That original menu gets hidden and a new menu that had been made and hidden um, originally that had been cloned is there. So this is an entirely new menu that was created uh, on the page load, or at least whenever that function got called, which um, in our case isn't necessarily the page load, it could just be the navigation, um, and it's a client-side navigation, so there is no page load, so we, we uh, initialize that and component did mount. Uh, if you're not familiar with React, you probably just didn't follow what I said. Uh, don't worry about it. Check out some of my previous videos, and I explain it a little bit better. Um, or, or check out the documentation on component did mount. So, of course, all this that I did here, that I was trying to do things the right way, the React way, this doesn't work because this is locally scoped to this. Uh, this particular component. That component is already on the page with all the styles ready before the cloned one is even made. So I have to go back now to the main style sheet and edit this anyway, which if I had been lazy to begin with, uh, I would have done it this way to start. So now I have to do it this way. So just small annoyances. Man, I mean, I'm going to check the live chat again. Uh, depending on how many people are watching, uh, I may just keep the live chat going for longer than normal because, I mean, I'm going to be here until this site launches. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. I may have some interruptions, uh, just some other people that are working on content for the site, my boss. So I may have some breaks, but as long as there are people watching and you think it's, it's useful... Uh, then I'll, I'll keep going for a while. Uh, it, I think it would be cool to keep going until I actually launch and we could see it. Hopefully it it doesn't break in front of everyone. But um, but that's that's the plan. And uh, it will help me to stay focused and awake if I talk to you all while I'm doing it. And uh, my <laughs> so my timer just went up for my Pomodoro session. So 
I'm not going to restart it right now. Uh, we'll just, I think I can get this done in about five minutes and we'll just count that as one session uh, since I, I just talked for the last six minutes. Okay, so we're looking for bottom nav and let me go back to uh, dev tools and see where it was at. All right, so we're looking for line 380. Okay, so here we are, line 380. So the first thing I need to do is grab this and make it a hover. And this, all the indentation is crazy because this was originally written in SAS and then compiled. So this is not normally how I indent everything. Um, this is just how it comes out from the compiler. Uh, and then I'm just, I'm just working in the CSS right now because uh, I never set up the compiler to compile SAS. So um, normally I guess I would set everything up. All right, so we need to add a hover on here. And let's grab this. All we did was just change the background color. And there we go. And so this is just our main uh, menu color. And then I just, uh, I think this is the light property. I, I'm not really, sh don't know that much about color formats, but I just changed this to make it a little darker. All right, so now I guess we could take this out because, I mean, I, I would like to have it in here, but because it clones it, there's it's, it's never really going to work uh, unless I kind of, I don't know, maybe I, I could rework it, but I, I don't think it's going to work. Um, so now we need these. Let's go bottom nav, U-L-L-I-A. So let's add in these styles so you see at this at this point this is not super difficult we're just it's just a matter of finding where this is and making sure we we're getting the proper cascading um, so we're not doing anything special like I said changing line height changing the padding we added a little a little transition effect I recommend adding a transition every time you're doing something like like a hover or some type of change uh, it makes it look so much more smooth uh, otherwise you get this really kind of abrupt change uh, and it's just kind of jarring it doesn't look as nice all right let's find uh, bottom nav ULLI line height padding actually we can replace both of these padding things I don't know why I had two there I uh, never cleaned it up so as I've been going along I've been trying to get rid of as much as I can over here in the main style sheet and put it all into the components um, it's kind of easier to do it as you go along. At some point, I'll probably have to just go back and make like a deliberate effort to go through and move them all in. Um, but that can come later. And then finally, we have on the UL, we just change this margin. And now we can get rid of this completely. Let's make sure we don't have any inline styles, and we don't. Okay, so this should work. Now I'm going to save this and this. Let's go back over here, and I'm going to refresh because the, the hot module reloading uh, doesn't work on my style sheet. It just works when I update components. All right, so this still works good. And now this works now. Um, it does, it kind of looks a little bit squished, like I, I want more padding up here. Um, Let's let's do that. Might as well do that now. That's the kind of thing that I probably won't remember to do. Uh, it'll just slip through the cracks. Let me actually. I just heard some some messages come in from my boss. Okay. Um, Okay, he's got some images for me to put on the site. There was, there were still a lot of images from like the old, old original site that just wouldn't where they most of them just weren't big enough, um, or they had the wrong dimensions for what we're doing with this site. So my boss just said he he has some images. He asked if he could upload them on a, on his own, but um, I don't really have 
kind of like the content management system for this site is WordPress, but I don't have everything linked up. So to save time, I've actually been hard coding some of the sections, basically the sections that, you know, there's not a lot to them and they're not really likely to change. I'm just hard coding for now. And then I'll make custom post types in WordPress so that other people can edit things on the site without having to uh, get on the server or edit any code. Uh, but at this point, the sections that he has images for, I don't have connected uh, in uh, through the WordPress API. I didn't make post types for him yet, so I guess we'll be uploading some images here soon uh, once he sends them over. Okay, some you guys are asking some uh, questions about JavaScript libraries. Yeah, okay, so I'm using... My like framework is Materialize, uh, so it's a material design. It's like Bootstrap, but with material design. So it comes with JavaScript and CSS, and it requires jQuery. So that's why jQuery is in here normally. Um, normally, you wouldn't um, you wouldn't want to use jQuery with React, and I went over that in more depth. I think in my like two days ago in my live stream uh, so but we, we are using it so there's just a few things you have to do to make that work and there was one other question let me see oh uh, someone wants to know the Chrome extensions that you're using um, am I using what am I using in Chrome uh, this one Let's see, this is WP Sniffer, it tells me if it's a WordPress theme. Uh, this one is Live Reload, um, right? Is it? Or Browser Sync? No, this is Live Reload. Okay. Um, and that works with, like, what I'm using Gulp, I think. Um, maybe, I don't even know if I use this one anymore, to be honest with you. It might have been left over from when I used Grunt a long time ago. JSON formatter. So this is this one um, is how I get the JSON to look really pretty like that instead of uh, like this, which is pretty unreadable. Um, what else do I have? Uh, this is Google Google Drive application launcher, which I pretty much never use. I don't know why it's there. LastPass uh, saves all my passwords and stuff. Definitely recommend that. Super useful. Walk at time keeps track of all the time I spend in my editor and in my um, in my browser, and then every week it sends me an email and tells me like how much time I spent writing CSS, how much time I spent writing uh, JavaScript, HTML, how much time did I spend in Chrome. So it's kind of cool to go back and track things. This is really useful. Uh, this one I don't remember what it's called, <laughs> um, but it tells me what this site is built with. Um, what is this? Tamper Monkey lets me do custom scripts that I can run on certain URLs. That's why my GitHub is black. Uh, this one lets me know if there's uh, retire.js, if, if there are vulnerabilities in any of the JavaScript libraries that are being used. Uh, usually jQuery always comes up on there. I'm not sure. Most jQuery versions, it seems like, have some type of vulnerability. And full contact for Gmail. This just tells me when somebody emails me, it has links, like automatically grabs links to their social media profiles so I can check them out. Okay, another change. All right, so I just got another change uh, from my boss. He says the oval behind the titles need to be more opaque. Okay, and that's going to be an easy change. So we will do that. Um, but first, let's let's sort this padding out. I I even said that this was gonna be forgotten easily, and it, it almost was. Uh, so I want to try to do this in a way. Let me bring my dev tools over. My dev tools is super small. 
let's bring this up a little bit. I don't want to bring it up too much because it's going to mess up uh, how this looks as well. I think this did. Oh, no, it didn't. Awesome. I thought it was going to make this uh, get bigger too, but it didn't. So, all right. So I want to try to do this in a way that I don't have to edit everything all over again. So let's see if we can make that happen. Let's go right to the A since that's what's getting hovered. If we can increase the line height, maybe let's just jack up the line height a little bit and see what happened. Uh, okay. All right, well, that kind of did what we wanted, but we didn't quite get... Let's see. Didn't quite get what we wanted. Let's check these allies. Let's see if that did anything. I don't think it did. I had 16, 14, yeah, let's make them the same just to check, but I don't think it did what we wanted. No, it did not. Uh, let's try it on the UL. Increase the margins. No, that's not what we want. Uh, this is what I was afraid of. More complicated than we thought. Uh, let's, let me refresh so I can just reset back to what we had originally. <clears throat> Yes, somebody in the uh, live chat remembered what that Chrome extension was. Uh, this one that tells me um, WAP, WAPalyzer. So, uh, yeah, super helpful. Uh, I always seem really smart whenever someone's talking about a site and I tell them like, exactly what it was made out of, made from, and I think people usually think I can look at the code and tell that. But you can sometimes, but I normally just use this plugin. All right, so my boss is knocking on the door. I will be back in a minute. Stack on the mobile, yeah. So it'll it'll look fine either way, I think. Okay. I actually prefer a shorter image on mobile, so there's less scrolling. Right. That's what I mean. So like. Oh, uh, I had it back. Yeah. I go mind, to the, so. a portrait on the desktop and a landscape on the mobile. I'm having trouble focusing. No worries. Man. <laughs> Even if at least for now the I'll, I'll, I'll find vertical images, and even if they just go away, it'll be the mobile. So there's so much scrolling. Okay. All right. So, okay. Cool. Thank you. Okay, I'm back. Uh, that was my boss, and um, my boss is super super helpful. Uh, number one, it's awesome that he lets me do these live streams, uh, but also he handles all the content stuff for me. So when it comes down to times like this, no one. <laughs> I don't have direct interaction with a lot of people. Everything goes through him, which is awesome because I have less interruptions in general. Uh, so that's great. And he handles all the content. You know, like usually people will give him like books of content, which obviously we're not going to put all that text and everything on the site. And then he will go through it and kind of edit it down to smaller chunks that are better for the website and then give it to me. So that's, that's super helpful. Uh, and then there's another guy that is like amazing at photography and image editing and things, but he's on vacation this week. So I had to do some image editing myself earlier today, just some basic stuff. Uh, so that slowed me down a little bit, but 
Uh, I don't think uh, that that guy's taken a vacation for the entire time that I've been working here, so he definitely deserves it, which, I mean, I've been here for like two years, so it's not that long. All right, so where were we? Oh, this menu, trying to get the padding. So we just reset it uh, because I kind of messed it up. This this might get put on the do later list. Uh, if I'm going to give it one more go, and if I can't fix this quickly, then we're just going to put it off uh, because there are other more important things that need done before we launch. Hopefully the, uh, I'm still waiting on some content to come in and that's always a little, it causes trouble sometimes. Uh, I had one section that I had spent a ton of time on the site doing and then we changed the content and the, the size of the section totally changed and then everything I'd done didn't, it didn't look right anymore. So hopefully nothing like that happens again. Phone size, one family padding. Uh, maybe we'll just increase the padding. No, not that padding. This padding. Let's see what that does. Okay. Oh, all right. I think this might work. Let's increase the line height. Let's go to 16. Is that too big? Uh, it's not bad. All right. Now let's look. If we can increase the padding, maybe this will do it. Let's see. Yes. That seems to be working. If it's if the screen's too small or blurry for you right now, I'm I'm basically just hovering over in uh, DevTools that element so I can see the little outline of where the padding is and I'm just clicking my, my keypad up and down uh, to just kind of see exactly where that needs to hit and it looks like seven pixels is where it needs to go. I'm gonna have to add some top padding. I'm gonna guess four. Whoa. Oh, okay, I see what I have. <laughs> All right, now let's check it out. Oh man, what a great guess. It was four exactly. I remember when I was just starting out, there was a guy that worked for the same company that I was doing some contracting work for. And he used to be able to just look at a website and say, yeah, you need to put three pixels uh, padding on the top of there and that'll fix it. And you'd go in and that was exactly right. He he just was so good. He knew exactly the number of pixels. So I'm pretty pumped that I just did that because I always thought when he did it, it was awesome. Uh, nice, that works. So now let's make sure we'll just copy this. And that, that worked out as good as I could have hoped. I only had to edit two lines, one element, so super happy about that. Uh, let me check. What were we on? This LIA, ULIA, and line height and padding. Let's save that. Give it a refresh just to check. Uh, and our server's down, and <laughs> I've been. <laughs> If you've been with me for the last week or so, you know that for some reason I keep getting errors on my development server. It is, the error has something to do with the hot module reloading. Um, and I keep putting off actually trying to debug that error. Uh, so I just have to restart um, occasionally. The, the thing is, like the restart only takes a few seconds, so it's... It just hasn't seemed worth it to me to do this. Um, these aren't really broken. It's just like a, um, a cores issue uh, since I'm a local host. So these actually do work on the main site. Uh, if you all want to check out the uh, the site while I'm working on it, you can inspect. The code's up on GitHub and uh, the test site link, it, it's up too. So those are both in the description. So you can check things out. If you see something crazy that just looks totally broken, uh, let me know. I mean, I'm. I'm not trying to rope you guys into being testers for free or anything, but um, if you would like to test things out and let me know, uh, that'd be awesome. I can't guarantee that I can fix everything because you saw my list, obviously. I have things that need done, uh, but it'll probably get on the list. All right, so 
let's pop this in. This was about one. My um, my tracking of my progress, the time has been slightly less than accurate uh, lately because I just there's a lot of stuff coming in. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually start up another Pomodoro session. So I got my 25 minute timer. So we will try to track this. This is gonna take probably three minutes. Increase opacity of tile overlay. So let's check this out in DevTools. Uh, so here's how we're doing this. Uh, we have a background image. Let me make this bigger. This is probably still too small for you. Um, okay, so we have this background image here. And the first is this actual like squiggly thing. Literally, it's, it's named squiggly. I didn't name it like that. I got it from the, the old site. Uh, but I like the name. And then we're putting a comma, and we're doing a linear gradient. Um, and so it's basically like we have double backgrounds. And the linear gradient is the same at, on the top and the bottom. I think this is top and bottom. Um, so basically, it, it just looks like uh, an overlay. Uh, so what we'll need to do then is change, change this, these fives. And uh, DevTools freaks out when you try to edit this. It's all in one big line. So I'm just going to edit this in the in the code because it'll actually be faster. So uh, where is that at right now? Okay, so I do actually have that in the component. So let's grab our title component, which I don't think I have open. So we have a component for title. And am I using... All right, so I have these... Yeah. <laughs> This looks strange, I know, uh, and that's a whole other story as to why that had to happen like that. <laughs> uh, that stinks. That's kind of crazy. Why do I have... Oh, okay, I needed a global tag. Alright. Um, let's... Where are we at? There we go. Alright. So let's pop this up. I mean, there's no reason why we couldn't go to 75% uh, opacity here. Uh, it won't block that much of the image, so I think that'll be fine. Now that should re reload. There we go. All right. Yeah, that's a lot better. That should be that should be fine. I'm not going to waste a lot of time trying to fine tune that. That works. Let's check it off and move on. The lowest unit I ever count is a half a Pomodoro, which should be 12 minutes and 50, uh, no, 12 minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> um, that took less than that, but uh, we'll just round up and, oops, and we'll move it to done. All right, let me check the live chat quickly. Oh, you guys are having some good conversation here. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to be as attentive to the live chat just because I got to get a lot of this stuff done. So I'm I'm sorry about that. I will I'll um I'll look at the live chat though. Like after the site gets launched, um, I will look through it all. So if if you put something in there, I will see it. I I never uh, totally ignore it. Um, let's see. Someone says Team Rocket in there. We got a Pokemon fan. I watch Pokemon with my kids, uh, so I am familiar with Team Rocket. Oh man, looks like we got we got a fight going on in here. Um, wow. All right, so I don't really have time to moderate anything, so I apologize if anyone is being rude to other people. Um, I, I don't I just don't have time to look and see like who should be blocked uh, and you know who started what um, so yeah and there's some messages in another language that I don't know um, okay yeah this does need moderation so um, yeah I don't really have a, a moderator I know there's a way you can assign somebody a moderator, but I'm, I never had to do it before. Um, so anyway, whoever's fighting, please stop. And other, otherwise, I'll probably just block everybody who's involved in the fight. I don't want to do that, but I just don't have time to do anything else. Maybe in future, uh, 
future shows. Uh, somebody, if somebody wants to volunteer to be a moderator or something, um, as long as you're cool about it and don't like block everybody, that I'd be happy to make somebody a moderator. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, just be you know, be cool. Um, I think. Everybody just needs to take a breath and relax. I like I said, some of it's in our language. So I don't actually even know what people are fighting about. Uh, okay, I'm not going to work on this one. There, when when content came to me, it didn't have actual dashes. It had like double hyphens instead. So um, someone commented and be like, "Hey, can we get rid of that?" I'm like, yeah, definitely. But I'm not even going to attempt this until I get all the content in because I might actually like fix this in content that is not going to be on the site so that's uh let's hold off on that let's do this uh on hold i, mean, I guess i need more info because i'm waiting on text info so the color will just let me know that i can kind of skip over for now uh add squiggly things all right let's add these squiggly things um let me show you what we're talking about. And let me let me do a commit real quick. I don't want to get too far ahead without committing. So what did we do? Uh, add hover effect to sticky nav. Yeah, that's what we did. I, I definitely did more than that because of the I'm, I'm seeing the events page got changed to I can't remember what it was. So that's going to be the commit message. That's why it's good to commit frequently. You know, you see at this point, I can't even remember what I did. Um, I also am not sure if I'm using the word effect properly, if it's supposed to be effect with an E or effect with an A. I've been using it with the E basically for everything during this project, for all my commit messages, so uh, I can't ever remember. My wife's actually an English professor, so I ought to know better. <laughs> I just rely on her to proofread all my stuff, and then I, I end up never learning the grammar rules myself. All right, let's go to the home page. This is what we're going to work on. I got a request a few hours ago to add these little things in. Uh, to some of the headers. I'm only going to do it on the home page. Uh, some of the interior page headers are just way too long and uh, I, I don't have room for these and they, they wrap onto another line and it's going to look really silly if one's like up here and one's down here. Uh, I don't really want to do all the uh, CSS work to make sure that they always stay out here. So this is how I did it. I, I originally wanted to do these as background images but this H1 or H2 spans the whole width. So it was a little bit difficult to get them in this position, uh, especially because I'm, this uh, font size will change too, uh, slightly depending on the screen width. So I just didn't want to get into all that. So I decided to just make two spans within the H2. So this is an image that I'm loading in a span, and this is another image I'm loading in a span, uh, which is a little bit of padding to make sure it appears like this. And that's it. So we're going to do the same thing down here to this section. We have some, some white squiggly things, and uh, we're going to put those in. So let's, uh, let's go over here. Where's our index page? So home page. All right. Let me make this a little bigger. Uh, let me know if you can't see this text. It looks big to me, but uh, depending on your screen, it might be too small. Okay. Sorry, I was just taking a drink. I'm drinking a lot of G Fuel. I don't know if you guys ever heard of G Fuel. It's basically like an energy drink powder. It's like it has the same stuff as Five Hour Energy, but it's cheaper, uh, and you get it like in a big tub of powder. So that's keeping me awake right now. 
And I'm not sponsored by G Fuel, so I didn't get paid to say that. I actually use it, <laughs> and it works. Um, what am I trying to do? You can see I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit out of it. I'm like losing focus more easily than I usually do. All right, I was at mission at the top. I'm trying to copy and paste this. Okay, here we go. Um, so we're gonna copy and paste this line not everything but we'll grab this bit okay so it's hard to see uh we'll, we'll check it out when we copy it but i've grabbed the images and we're going to go down here to this section where it says formation i'm just going to copy this out um, and then i'll change the text back to formation Uh, this section originally said something like building the church and I changed it to formation and I put that elsewhere but then now that's gone at this point I'm just gonna leave it a formation because I'm afraid building the church is gonna be too big for this section uh, and it's gonna the words are gonna wrap uh, maybe we'll change it we'll see I'm, I might get an email at some point saying that we have to change it uh, all right, so let's, let me save, and let's just see what happened. Okay, awesome. So we have these in here. We're not going to use these images, obviously. Um, we're going to use, we have some other squigglies. So I need to check. I need to find my, my folder. I'll throw it over here. I need to see where the other squigglies are. So not that one, not that one. All right, we need squiggly three reverse and squiggly three. Oh, that's great. I don't, I don't even have to change the names very much. Uh, let's throw in. Let's just. Oops. Let me go here. Squiggly two. We we'll use our multiple cursors and put in three and hit save. Oh, nice. All right. It's not too bad. It looks like this should be a little bit farther to the right. I just got a message from my boss. Hold on. Let me check. Okay, I got some more text. So we'll be putting that in next. Don't let me forget. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's not bad, but that definitely needs out. That's actually, that's really weird because I thought I had, let me check the values. Um, let's see, we have a margin, right? Why is that margin right? That should be left. Let me check this out. Did I mess this up at the top? I did. All right, I can't believe I didn't catch that before. Okay, so, Basically, what I did is th this should be margin left. When I I did the first one and I copied and pasted it over and I forgot to switch it. So margin left, and then I did the same thing up here. Margin left. Oh, let's save it, and that should that should fix it. There we go. So that popped out. That popped out a little bit. I think that's that's actually fine. I think. Let me make sure. Okay, so I do have that. Okay, that works. Uh, you can see once the screen gets so small that it would be um, probably get cut off, uh, then I just hide them completely. There we go. All right, that works. So let's see. How long did that take us? Oh, not too long. We're gonna. I'm gonna say, this is a one. So this came in exactly as we scheduled. Um, it was about, I'm, I'm rounding, it was a little bit more than a half of a Pomodoro session, but really close. All right, now let's put in this text, and I do have, I have something in here just in general for text. Add text. There we go. All right, and it was this text, but then I added some of it. All right, let's see what we have. Let me open up what I, my boss just sent me. Let's see. All right, so I'll bring this over. The text is really small. 
but just so you can see, like, basically he just sent me some text and he told me where to put it on the page, so I'm just going to copy and paste that onto the page right now. Uh, this is going to be on the about page. So uh, a lot of this text I pulled from the original site, and so I've just been waiting on it. Obviously, these images are going to change. Uh, instead, I've put them down here in their own cards. These cards are a little bit different than they were, so I actually resized these images, and now they're all uniform and they have the right links in there. Um, let's see. I can barely read this text too. It's small even on my screen. Uh, I have on the, on my other screen the text we're going to copy and paste. So let's say uh, second section. Uh, I have <laughs> several paragraphs. It's always like, I mean it does look nicer when you break your text up, but when I have to manually put in the text, I don't like when I have to keep putting in paragraph tags. I know it's not that much work. Let me just get rid of some of this stuff because we're cluttered up and we don't need most of this now. The news page is actually going to be completely hidden at first because we don't really have very much news. We just have like a couple of headlines that are links to places. So that doesn't really, uh, it's not enough content to warrant having an entire like blog set up. Uh, in general, I my rule from back when I used to do a lot of search engine optimization work was uh, if you don't have at least 300 words to put on the page, then it shouldn't be its own page. Um, that was that seemed to work for me before. Uh, I'm not really up on everything that's new with search engines, but at least you know a couple of years ago, that was kind of the bare minimum you needed to be taken seriously uh, for a page to be taken seriously by Google's uh, crawler. About there it is. It's an alphabetical order. I don't know why it took me so long to find that. Probably because I was trying to talk at the same time. All right, so this is the car. We're we're above that. We're above that. We're gonna we're trying to go to the second section. You see that this is w so much more than I would ever normally put in a React component. These pages are basically just components. Uh, at eventually, all this will be cut down and just be templated and pulled in through the WordPress API. But for now. It's like, it actually reminds me of when I first learned how to do websites. Uh, I, I, I was using Notepad at the time, Windows Notepad. So this is a little more colorful, but, um, you know, just all the code right there in front of you. All right, I think this is the section. Let me double check. No, it's not. I think I need to go up one. Um, yeah, it's this one. Okay, so here's what we'll do, some copy and pasting, and let's copy and paste that, and let's make a couple more, P tags, we need two more, class name, always remember to use class name instead of class in your React components, or else um, you'll, you'll either get Either uh, React will freak out and you'll get an error, or um, it just won't consider that class at all. It will just act like it doesn't, it wasn't on there, and your styles won't get applied. Let's do one. I need one more paragraph. Okay. I really need to learn Emmet at some point. I don't know if, if you've all ever used Emmet or heard about Emmet, but it's like allows you to just write uh, HTML just super quickly with all these little shortcuts. Uh, I've known about it for years and I've seen videos and always wanted to learn but I just never took the time to do it. But in times like these it would probably come in handy. Alright, let me just save that and see how it looks before we do the rest. Alright. Okay, so we got three paragraphs okay we definitely need a new image uh, this is just not working here I mean obviously it's not even aligned properly if I don't get a new image before it's time to launch this section will just be full with text that goes basically everywhere in the site it's gonna be like that at some point I'm just gonna say like we have to launch because I'm gonna fall asleep while I'm working if we don't and uh, I still I need to be awake because once we launch and we point the domain I need to quickly set up the SSL for the new domain so I, I can't be totally wiped out at that point. Um, 
I need to be able to handle any issues that might come up. Uh, so anyway, we will cut any images that just don't look right. It's better to just not have them to have than to have an image that um, that's just not big enough and doesn't fit in that section. At least that's my view. I'd always rather just completely hide sections that aren't complete. Uh, and then users don't realize that they're missing out on something. They don't even know what's supposed to be there to begin with. And then when you finally do make the... Um, uh, you know that new section of the site or that new feature available then it's like people are getting something as a bonus instead of feeling like all oh, this is still under construction so that's, that's my little takeaway if I mess up the rest of the video I think that's still good advice <laughs> online hub for local learning let's see is that title in there no all right, so we need to add a title tag. All right, we'll make this, and I think I'm making these H2s. Let me check in interior section, so I just want to make sure I'm consistent. Consistent H2s here. H4, what am I doing? And this is an H2. Mm. We're going to try an H2. Uh, I kind of think maybe I just went with an H4 here because the this was really big. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm not going to change that, but I it, it's just weird to have different sections. Basically, it's the same level in the page hierarchy, uh, but I have different H tags. So that, that's not a good idea. Um, don't, don't do that. I'm only going to leave that because I'm running out of time. So this will be an H2 in this section. Uh, let's see. All right, so we want this to span the whole section. And be centered over the whole thing. So we're gonna make another row within the container. Class name row, and let's just add center. We'll add center in there. I'm not sure if we need that, but I might as well put it in now, so save some time. Uh, and then I'm going to put this in, I don't think I need to put it in a column. Occasionally, I've had weird things happen when I don't put this in a column, and this is the material. This is the uh, grid system that comes with Materialize. So I've had weird things where like the H tag will like spill out over the row and cause issues like on a small screen where there's like horizontal scrolling happening and and the cause is this H tag spilling out. That if I put it in a column um, and it's just a full width column, then it fixes the problem. So if you ever had that issue with Materialize. Uh, that might fix it. There we go. Finally, we're going to have the H2 and paste that. Let's see if it looks good. All right, that works. It is a little big as an H2. Let's shrink that down and just see like mm, four lines. That's not terrible. Really don't like a header to span four lines, uh, but. If I, if I had time, at some point, probably I'll put a media query in and uh, shrink the size of these headers, of all the headers, down on, uh, on the small screens. Uh, let's... Oh, goodness. I got bullet points to put in <laughs> in the next thing. Let me show you. This is my stuff. I know it's small, but look, not only are there paragraphs, but then there's bullet points. Goodness. Um... It's not a big deal if you have like a WYSIWYG, but we got to make those ULs and LIs by hand, the old fashioned way. Okay, so this text is changing. Yes. Yeah.
Okay, cool. So that's there. This next one, we're going to have another paragraph. And we'll put the UL in that. So we need two more paragraphs here. One paragraph is going to have a line and then a UL. We'll see how that looks. I don't know how that'll look right off the bat. There's my timer. Uh, so let me... Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the five minute break for my timer right now, and that'll just give me time to uh, to keep track of everything. So I'm not gonna take a break from the live stream, but I'm gonna take a break so I can come in here. Say that was only half a poem. Um, I call Pomodoro sessions palms for short. I don't know if anybody else does that, or if it sounds silly, but if you hear me say that, that's like what I call it to myself. Uh, I'm gonna bring in. I'll show you what I'm doing over here. Um, I know it's really small, but just to get an idea, I also track my time here. So I'm going to say, I actually forgot the last two sessions, so I'm going to double up and say it was about uh, 60. So I'm like manually putting in the time. At some point, I'd like to automate a lot of this, and I just have another time in. And then I just make a little note of what I've been doing. Um... I did say I added the hover to the menu, so I already put that in there. And what do we do? We added squigglies. Home page headers. And what are we working on now? New text. Yeah. New text for about page. Okay, I know that's super small, but I just read out what it was, I was typing, so you know that. Uh, so basically, this is how I keep track of things. So um, all the time I've been spending on this. The, now, I don't track meetings. So sometimes meetings do take, are a big part of a project. So I only track the time that like I'm actually coding uh, or you know looking up. I mean, we all know that coding is a lot of... Googling as well. So um, that's my time. So, so far in this project, I actually spent like 48 and a half hours on this. Uh, so we'll see. So that gives me an idea of how much time I've taken. I haven't all my projects that I'm working on or have worked on are all um, different sheets down here. So it's nice that I can go down. Sometimes I actually put like an hourly rate down here and keep track of it. Uh, so I can you know, at some point go to my boss and say like, hey, this is how much this project may have cost you if you went with, you know, an outside contractor. So it's kind of cool because if you add up what I've done in a year, it's, it's always way more than I, I get paid in a year. Uh, so that means that I am, I am bringing value. I'm a good investment for, the, for this university. And it also gives me leverage if I wanted to ask for a raise or something at some point. So I recommend keeping track of that thing, even if you're not an hourly worker. I'm not hourly. Um, I, pay, I get paid sal salary, but it's good to keep track of. All right, I got about two minutes before my break's over. Uh, we're going to start up again. So I'm just going to check the live chat. There's a lot going on in the live chat, so I'm not going to scroll all the way up. Um, it looks like, did somebody, somebody volunteered to be moderator? <laughs> Said I volunteer as tribute. Um, cool, I didn't, I didn't see that earlier. Let me check. If, if there's still craziness going on in the chat, then I'll maybe look up how to make you a moderator. Um, somebody says, Java developer... Somebody asked if React.js is the only framework that I know. Um, I've worked with Angular before, but not in a while. Like maybe, I don't know, like four years ago or something, I, I did some stuff with Angular. So it was Angular 1. Um, I've read about other frameworks, like the newer versions of Angular and um, Vue.js. And then in terms of like non-JavaScript frameworks, I have had to work with um, things like C sharp, PHP stuff. Um, but yeah, for now I'm just, uh, I'm working with React. Uh, 
at this point, React is more than enough for me to try to have to learn. So uh, I'm not going to move on to anything else right now, but I'm definitely interested. I like to use the right tool for the job. So uh, I'm interested in learning some other stuff. I just, I keep seeing so many headlines about how great Vue.js is. So I just, I don't know. I haven't used it yet. Somebody asked about CSS library. All right, they got an answer materialized. You all are great. You you uh, you answer these questions right here. Hey, somebody says they like G Fuel too. <laughs> somebody put we believe in you, but they used emojis, so it's actually a bee and a leaf. I love that. That's so cool. There's a lot of messages retracted in here. I don't understand that. Um, why why does somebody keep retracting the messages? And how does that? I don't know. I've never really participated in live chats myself, so I'm not sure how you retract the message. Um, yeah, Materialize is open source. It's on GitHub. Uh, Materialize is not material design. It's different. Uh, material design is like the basic like design philosophy developed by Google, and Materialize is, is like an incarnation of that design philosophy. So actually putting those ideas into HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. There are other material design style frameworks out there, uh, but I, I tried a bunch of them um, probably a couple years ago, and at that time, React or uh, Materialize was the one that was the most. Um, it was it had the least amount of bugs. It was easier for me to use. Uh, so I don't know at this point if there's something better, but it's still maintained. Uh, there's there's frequent updates, so I'm still going with it. Uh, somebody said, um, oh, "Okay, so so just two comments I'll mention real quick before we start again." Uh, somebody says, "I don't know how you look." Uh, I think I have a picture on my my YouTube channel, so there's a link in the description for the for this video to my YouTube channel. Uh, and my Twitter, I think, and there are pictures of me on on both of those. So I don't know. I've never had a reason to uh, actually show my face on a live stream. So maybe one day I will, but for now I don't. Somebody else said they retracted their statement because uh, they were they were talking about the A versus E and the word effect, uh, and I, it turns out I was correct. So awesome! I had a fifty fifty shot at being right. You know, it's only could only go one of two ways. All right. So let me get back into this. I didn't get through everything that was in the live chat. There's a lot going on. So on the next break, I'll, I'll do the same thing and I'll check back in. Uh, I, want, I do want to see... Okay, we still have 33 viewers. That's a little bit lower than we normally have, but that's that's a decent amount of people. So I'll keep going. In case you missed it at the beginning, I'm just going to keep the stream going for a while. Uh, maybe even until I launch the site. Uh, unless I... I might have to take a, a break to go out and like meet with my boss uh, or so that that may happen so it may not be straight through but uh, I think this is doable um, let me get because I'm still waiting on some content and some images anyway so I can't I can't actually launch right now so we're just gonna try to get as many like little things done as we can all right so we we're right in the middle of making a paragraph tag with a class name of flow text flow text uh, comes built in to materialize and it just makes your font size change depending on the screen width so it's like a responsive uh, font so I like it uh, it's very helpful and it saves me from having to test fonts sizes on different screens and what do I need? I need one more so let's copy this and let's bring this in. So we are going to paste this. And then I'm going to try to put the UL right here. I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work out with the padding, if it's going to be up too close. But um, I just don't remember what the default padding is in Materialize for this. And we got some LIs. How many do we need? One, two, three, four. Four LIs. So let's copy that. Now we can copy some of this over. Uh, by default, materialize does not put any uh, 
little dots or anything by their their LIs. So we'll see how it looks. If it's not obvious that this is a list, we may have to put in some of our own. Hopefully it is obvious and it, and it works. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a second when we save this. And one more. One more LI. And hopefully since we put that in the paragraph tag that had flow text, our UL will also use uh, the flow text. That was part of the idea of putting it in there. Oh, it's terrible. There we go. All right, let's flip over. Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> All right, this is our UL. That looks awful. What is going on here? See, this is it. Like, you, you think, like, all I have to do is copy and paste some text content, but it's never that simple. Wow. All right. Well, I I don't mind, like, this, this padding here is fine. I like that. There, there needs to be at least, like, some indentation or something. Uh... I guess I could just change this and see what it looks like. Um, no, I want to do like disk. Uh, I don't like using the disk. Oh, look, it even put them in up here. Um, and we need some some margins in here. Shoot. Sixteen pixels. Uh, All right, let's see how this looks. That's not bad. We'll, we'll keep. We we'll use that. So let's copy this, and we will add it. Let's see if if I already have some. I don't know if I'm using JSX in here. Yes, I am. But where is this at? It's just in that section. I'm going to try to put it in here and see if it gets scoped just to that section. We may have to move this. Uh, I haven't used uh, this style JSX tag um, often enough to know exactly what's going on with the scoping. And I just skimmed the, uh, the materials for um, the, the documentation. I only read like the tiny bits that I really needed at the time. Let's see where we're at. Um, all right, let me just give this a name, um, a class name. Maybe we'll need it again, so I might as well just do it, make it a class. Uh, what should we call this? Bullets. Let's call it bullets. Not like gun bullets. I don't want to. Uh, how about circles or discs? Disc list. Okay, cool. Uh, what am I doing? Disc list. There we go. Okay. I think it might be time for more G Fuel. I'm starting to feel really tired out of it. I also have Visine drops like for my eyes. <laughs> so when you're coding for a long time, your eyes start to dry out. Those really help. So I may need to stop and put some of those in as well. Uh, I'll just copy this. Paste it, I mean. Uh, okay, let's see if it works. I think it did. What? What the heck just happened? What? Oh my goodness. What? How? How did that? Did you, did you guys just catch that? What just happened there? 
Um, okay, so a couple things are happening. Let's, uh, first of all, the styles are not being applied here at all. Uh, so I do need to move that tag, that uh, style tag, out farther so it's it's uh, scoped to a bigger scope. Um, and then also, for some reason, the flow text tag is not being applied. Uh, so I'll do two things. Let's do two things to try to fix this. We'll add flow text to here. Hopefully that works. I really don't want to have to add flow text to each one of these allies, but if this doesn't work, I'll have to. And it's probably just some LI style overriding that, I'm assuming. And now we need to take this this whole thing here and move it because it was just being scoped to the uh, the oh shoot did I grab the I want to double check yeah I just want to double check and make sure I didn't grab the div at the end of that and make, mess everything up so let me move this all the way out to like pretty much the largest scope we have on this page I could go out like one more but uh, this should work. All right. No, unable to find element with ID 87. Wait a second. I got that error a long time ago, and I fixed it. At least I thought I fixed it. What the heck was that? All right, now we got to restart the, uh, the dev server. Okay. Well, assuming that that these changes work, that should be it for the for that LI. All right. A little bit better. Not exactly what we wanted. At least we got this flow text working now. This list. Uh, I should have just looked in here to begin with. All right. Super simple fix. Uh, they just have a lot more uh, like selectors here in the CSS, so I'm getting overridden. So we'll just throw in a couple more selectors, and we'll just override them. Does it ever feel like a fight when you're trying to override other CSS? Like sometimes it does to me. All right, so let's go with div ul. <laughs> When in doubt, just throw a div in there. There's probably always an enclosing div around something. And uh, if, okay, all right, here we go. Unable to find an element with ID 87. What element is supposed to have ID 87? What element is this? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna refresh the page and hope it works. Now, I'm going to search for the word 80, the letters 87, 87. Oh man, so many 87s. 31 87s. Uh, maybe, let me, let me put that on the end, 87. What the heck? Maybe. Yes. All right. That narrowed it down. Disk list flow text 87. Why is this supposed to be? Hmm. Huh. All right, I'm gonna check the live chat real quick and see if anybody caught um, <laughs> caught anything. What is the stray? Oh, did I did I mess something up? Maybe I, I messed up a um, messed up someone. I copy and pasted. All right, let me get, let me go up and check. I mean, that's usually it when stuff like this happens. It's just. You, you misplaced 
um, just misplaced like a semicolon or something. All right, this looks this looks all right. I mean, the highlighting helps too. If anything that's you know inside of uh, quotes will get a different color. That looks all right. Let's check that style um, tag here. All right, that looks like it's supposed to look in the move code. All right, yeah, somebody, somebody, yeah, they just retracted the message, so I'm assuming that they figured it out. I'm just going to say it. Um, uh, somebody says programming is so boring. It's, sometimes it is. Sometimes it can be tedious. You just got to listen to some music and just grind through it. Other times it's fun. Um, I don't really know. Watch, watching me do it might be pretty boring, uh, but... Uh, let's see. Yeah, so when you do this style JSX tag, first you're going to put brackets, and that's going to basically you're in React component, so that that's puts you in JavaScript mode. Now that I'm in JavaScript mode, I use this this little back tick, and that's the template template literal syntax. So think of this as as using a, a single quote or double quote, except it can do cool stuff. Um, so all this in here is basically a string. So I can write all this CSS just like normal CSS. It's in, it's a string and then um, it all gets changed over and applied where it needs to get applied for that component. So when it comes out on the other end, it's it works. Well, in this case, it's not working, but usually it works. Uh, so let's go back. And we'll look at this again and see what's going on. Am I still, I'm still getting, is, now, is it not even showing up at all? Uh, I, I need to make this bigger so we can see what's going on. Okay, so this LI should be getting some styles that we put in. And I don't see it anywhere. So our styles are not even being applied at all. Let's check to see if these styles are being applied, because these did work. <laughs> yeah, these styles are being applied. Let's, let's check this out. I'm just trying to rule things out here. Okay, so we can see this is what we should be seeing uh, as the styles getting applied. Something like this, this data... Uh, hyphen JSX. All right, let's check that out. Let's make sure we did it. Div UL diskless. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know what I just did. I added the class disk list to the UL, so I, I shouldn't have had a space there. Let's see if this works. I still might not be, and it gave me that same error. We're definitely going to have to test this out on the live server uh, because if we're getting this error on the live server, that's a huge problem. I think it's it's only happening when I hit save and the hot module reloading happens. So I am I think it's only with the hot module reloading and that's fine because then it won't mess up anything uh, in production. But we'll have to remember to test that. Uh, okay, still not happening. But let's see. All right, at least it's here. So we just need to add one more. We need to make it more specific. So I hate making things so specific, but let's go with main. And then, man, that's, that's getting kind of annoying. No, how is that not? This is, this is really terrible. It's like... All right, now I just I just have to do this. I have to go. It's just like the nuclear option. I should have just done this five minutes ago. Man. It's the the thing I I can't remember how I fixed that same issue last week. Oh man.
Wait a second. You guys might have already seen this. I haven't looked at the live chat in a couple minutes. I'm an idiot. <laughs> if you didn't catch that, <laughs> they did. All right, somebody did. Somebody already caught that three minutes before I did. I should have just. <laughs> I should have just checked the live chat. Sorry. Oh man. <laughs> I applied it to. I was trying to apply it to the UL instead of the LI. That was the problem. All right. Well, that is finished. I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm. I'm like. I just don't even want to deal with that anymore, so it's going to look like that. All right, let's see. All right, one more for this page. Let's do... All right, we're actually we're going to use block quote for this one. So if you haven't used block quote yet, you will, you'll, you'll see it now. All right, so we got this section here. Um, Let's go up. Where was our last one? All right, so here's the section we just did. We're going to drop down one section. And we're going to add a block quote. I'm going to add flow text again. Oops. OK. Now, I'm going to bring in this text. Let me show you this again. I put that in the right spot, right? thought I did. <clears throat> I think I'm starting to lose my voice a bit. Sorry about that. Did my server. Uh, again with this with the dev server. That's why. <clears throat> okay. Uh, somebody said such taboo. I think that that's right about the time when I was typing important on there. I probably don't need it now. I can take it out, but I'm not going to go back and take it out right now. All right. This should be good now. And let's see. All right. Awesome. So we've got this little blog quote right here. And I want to make this match the homepage because we have a quote on the homepage too. So let's make it match. Let's check out the homepage and see how we did it. All right, so we don't have any uh, parentheses, and it looks like we're making the name of the document italicized. Let's see what this is. Okay, so we need to change up how this is formatted a bit. And I don't know, should we go with the black? I think we should. I think we should make this black background. Yeah. We don't have any here, and then we'll make this red. Okay, so let's do the shortcut mode on this and just copy and paste some stuff. So we're going to copy this border, and let's throw it on here, and I'm just going to put it in here. And if I haven't already showed you this, this will show you how to do it. If you're using uh, Next.js, I don't know if this works with just regular React, but on, on Next.js, they have this CSS and JS thing. Uh, I think that's what it's called. And uh, you can just type in, it's basically uh, like an object. It's not like an object, it is an object. So JavaScript object. So these first set of brackets uh, says, hey, we're going to do some JavaScript now. So anything inside those brackets is JavaScript. And then the second set of brackets 
is an object and uh, so you just type in right no no um, no hyphens here you camel case your uh, CSS stuff and then you put this stuff in quotation marks let's see if that works it should work we're getting that again Oh, okay, we <laughs> it did work, but we you can barely see it because we didn't make the background black. Let's do the inspector and get this. It's really hard to use dev tools when it's uh, blown up so big, but I do want you all to be able to see. So, red background flourish. Let's just remove that class and add a black background. Okay, simple. See, so we're going to remove this class, which gives it the red background and that little uh, squiggly thing in the background here. And we're going to keep white text. We're going to keep, I'm not, I don't even remember what the class banner is doing, but we're going to keep it. Uh, and we, we're not going to add another class. I'm just going to throw a background right directly on here with the style tag. If this is just like making you cringe, this is not exactly like frowned upon in React, throwing your CSS in the middle. When I first started doing this, I was like so freaked out because you've always, I've always been like been taught, I, I didn't really go to school for this, but I've always read and seen everybody say, no, you got to separate out your CSS into separate files. Don't put inline CSS, but then with React, it's okay. So it takes some getting used to. My Pomodoro cycle just ended. Let's just throw this in uh, since we're so close to, to having it ready. Um, background. Color. Red. I'm playing Spotify and on my headphones in the background and they have this 90s rock playlist and uh, I'm not like super into rock. I'm, I'm actually, I listen to whatever. Uh, I'm not picky, but it like brings back so many memories of hearing these songs when I was younger. Uh, so it's kind of cool. They had a pretty good Throwback Thursday playlist that was a lot of like 90s stuff that was nostalgic for me. So uh, if you have Spotify, what did I just do? <laughs> Why did I say red? I'm losing it, guys. Guys and, and girls, uh, sorry. You, I'm losing it, people. I don't know who's watching. And I don't, why would I put the name? I never do that. Okay. All right, let's try that again. I need to get off this page. <laughs> All right. Awesome. So we have that done. The only thing we need to do is just clean this section up here to make it look like the, uh, the quote on the home page so let's go back over what do we do um, I'm actually I want to look at the uh, the index page while we're here because I think I made oh okay I did it I did it in line I just did a spam okay I think materialize actually has a class for italic I don't think it's I don't think it's worth it time wise for me to look up that class right now because uh, it would take me longer than to just copy and paste this, but I'm pretty sure there is a class. All right, so Deus Caritas Est. Anybody, anybody good with Latin? You want to tell me what that means? I'll tell you what it means in a minute, but I'll give you guys a minute to uh, see if anybody knows Latin. I used to teach Latin in high school. Um, I've, I haven't worked with it in so long. I'm really rusty, but... Um, I still remember some of it. Uh, spam. And no Google Translate, no cheating. If you really know what this is in Latin, then then put it in the uh, in the live chat. Uh, okay, that's what we need. And there we go. There's the other one. And that's that should be. That should be it, right? Do we need... We need a comma there. Did I put the comma in? No, we need a comma. Okay, and that that really should be it.
All right, perfect. So that's it matched up exactly with the one on the home page. Um, this picture is not going to stay. I don't know what we're going to put here yet. I want to I want to see how it looks real quick with no picture. Um, I actually will probably just leave it in that in those columns. Um, <clears throat> So I think I kind of like it off to the side like that. What happened? No, I'll say. Wow, that's that's happening more frequently. That's no good. All right, let me look back over. All right, somebody did get so John John Heiner got it. They got the uh, they got the answer. Uh, so hopefully you didn't Google translate that, but yeah, in Latin it translates to Deus Caritas est, um, God is love. So Deus is God, um, uh, Caritas is actually like, so that's where we get the word charity from, uh, but in theological terms, charity and love are like the same theological like thing, they're, they're the same virtue. So. Uh, so there, in Latin, it's it's pretty interchangeable. Uh, today's concept of love is usually different than the, the meaning we give to charity. But uh, if you're reading like some old school theology stuff, maybe in Latin, then uh, you can use those words interchangeably pretty much. So, a little Latin lesson for today. <laughs> uh, and then est is just is. So, in Latin, word order doesn't mean anything, so... All right, John Heiner says they legitimately translated that. No Google Translate, so awesome. Uh, if, if I had like a gold star, I would give it to you. Uh, that's really cool. Not too many people know any Latin nowadays. I mean, it's, it's pretty much no one speaks it conversationally. Uh, people just read it. Actually, I don't mind that off to the side. Let me know what, what you all think. Uh, having this off to the side. Uh, definitely this needs some padding. I don't like how close that is, but right off to the side, that's not bad. <laughs> Sorry, my voice is going. Yeah, off to the side is pretty good. Um, man, I forgot to start my Pomodoro timer again. So let's. Uh, that's all the text content that we needed to put in for that section. So let's let's give this... Um, an extra, so this is three, right? We went a little over. I mean, really, it's like 3.5. I can't believe it took that long to do text. Um, I'm just going to throw this over here because I think we have all the text we need now. I don't, I don't think I'm waiting on anything else, hopefully. Actually, I wrote out a list earlier. Sometimes it helps me focus if I actually write, like on a piece of paper with a pen. Um... So, okay, I need a text for the about, and yeah, I think that's the only place I needed text for. So, great. So, we're done with that. Uh, let me, I'm going to put in the, the time over in my other spreadsheet as well. Um, and let's see what time we're All right, 3.30. I may have to take a break and eat something at some point. I just realized I have eaten nothing today. Uh, I'm not feeling well. I had like a uh, like a protein like weight gain type of shake uh, this morning. So I I haven't like eaten anything that was like you have to chew. But I did drink that. So I'm not like I'm not running on no calories at all. But uh, very very few calories at this point. I don't know, do you, do you ever do that when you get working, you just forget to eat? I do that frequently. Alright, so at this point, let me, um, I want to make sure I didn't get any more messages. What are the dimensions for the headers? Uh, I did get a message. Um, let's see.
So you asked me what dimensions I needed for the title, for the like the header images. So the the uh, thing that I'm calling the title here, these images, the images that I have um, are not quite as big as I want them. So you see, if, if someone has a big screen, I think this is 27 inches, and this is this is like the Apple, like their add-on monitor is called like a Thunderbolt. I forget what it's called. So it's like a 2K screen, I think. So you can see. I don't know if you can see this. It it looks. Uh, like it's pixelated. Um, somebody here, uh, I showed this to somebody that I work with, and he said it looked like a watercolor painting. So this image, it actually kind of works if you want to pretend it's a watercolor painting, but I need bigger images. So my boss just asked me what dimensions, and I think 2000 width will probably work. I'll, I should double check that and make sure that this image isn't already 2000. So let me, let me go here and just see. No, it's not. These are 1,200. These widths are 1,200, so that's that's no good. Uh, unless you're going to limit the width of your page to 1,200, you need something bigger uh, than that because screens are just like crazy these days with the size and resolution. You can't get away with 1,200 uh, width anymore. At least that's what I think. I work on a 27-inch 5K screen, and then my secondary monitor is uh, 20, I think 27, maybe 25, I don't know. Uh, a 2K screen, so I probably have better screens than most people do, uh, but still, you you know, you you want to develop for what's coming, you know, and, and try to be as cutting edge as you can, so you don't have to redo it in a few months. All right, let's let's get rid of this space and move on. We'll save. Uh, oh, I did want to just add some pad before we start the next item on the list. Let's just add some padding real quick. Um, I'm actually just... I think I'm just going to add... grab this section and just add a margin to the bottom. This will be easy. I normally... I don't like to do this little like piece by piece thing, but you know, we're just so close to being finished. I just want to get it done. And I'm super tired and hungry right now. I wish we don't have like good food delivery where I'm at. So I have some like bigger cities now you can just like have food delivered from a restaurant, like right from your app, you just pick it. I really, really want that here. But I live in a town that, that well, it's a city technically, but there's only like, I don't know, 16,000 people, something like that. So I guess it's not, nobody's making money doing that here. So you can pretty much only get pizza delivered. Uh, how many, what do I want here? Let's go 50, see how that looks. All right, I like that. 50 works. So let's go here and we'll just add this right in. We already have that tag there. Margin bottom, 50 pixels. Wow, we still have 31 viewers. So um, that's impressive uh, for those of you who have stuck with it for most of the time I've been on. Uh, some people maybe are new and you haven't been here the whole time. If you're just getting here, I'm working as fast as I can uh, and fighting exhaustion and a cold <laughs> to uh, launch this site today. And uh, there are a lot of those tiny changes. Oops, I got a call. There'll probably be some changes. Let me take this. Hello? Hey, how's it going? Yeah, let me... Let me see. Yeah, I just... I haven't checked my email in a while, so maybe this screen is white with originally expected error has occurred. Okay. Shoot. Alright, so let me... Let me so, it, exactly... It does on Safari and Google Chrome. Your... Uh, what machine is this on? Uh, window, it's a Mac. What uh, what uh, version of the operating system are you on? Do you know? Um, okay, maybe it's an El Capitan. Um, hmm. um, so there's, there's two things that I could think of that it could be uh, uh, at this point. Maybe, number one, 
uh, it's possible that uh, some something is cached that is not um, it, it's just messing something up with the site as it is now uh, in which case you have to do like a um, like a, a hard reset or you could try to go into one of those browsers in um, like private browsing mode and look at the site that'll tell you if it's the cache or not the second thing that um, it could be is that it's possible uh, that both Safari and maybe even Chrome um, the latest versions of them have not come out for El Capitan that's that's a long shot uh, Safari for sure um, they cut off their versions but I just can't see Chrome doing that yeah, so it worked on the same machine yesterday. All right, then it's it has to be. I would I would guess that it's something with the caching. So I would uh, try it in a um, in a private browsing window, and uh, you can call me back. Let me know if, if that doesn't work. Um, I'm just I, I I can't troubleshoot it because I can't get it. Everything I try to view it on, I can see it. So I keep trying. I keep trying. Um, maybe I'll ask some other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it should, it should be an option to do uh, private, private, yeah. Shoot. Uh, I'll, I'll have some other people over here. Oh, yeah, I'm sure we probably have computers open because we're not, um, you know, we, we don't have as many swap workers as normal right now, so um, that'll work too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I, uh, um, yeah, I, I think it could be, um, uh, I think it could be live. I mean, they're not, not like every single feature is going, you know, necessarily needs to be, um, like, um, like we, we don't need like a really robust search mechanism right now because, you can look through every resource in 30 seconds. So, uh, so things like that, but you know, for the things that, um, uh, you know, are, are important, the main portions of the site, you know, I'm going through right now and looking at like padding and things and just kind of tweaking a little bit. So, uh, so I think we'll be ready to go. But, uh, yeah, if you want to come on over and uh, you can check that out, I do, I think I'm going to ask some other people to check it out on their machines though, too, because, I, I want to know what's going on with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Because the link is the. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. So that'll be. Um, all right. Yeah. So we'll we'll take out the uh, the button there, uh, the link button for now, and then put something like. Okay. That's that's true. Uh, does Tom have that PDF, or is it is it already up somewhere? Okay, send it send it to Tom, and um, and then I'll have them uploaded. Um, somewhere that I can link to it. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Not a problem. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I am back. Um, that was uh, the uh, vice assi uh, assistant director of the department that I'm making this site for. So kind of a big problem. He's running, uh, he's on a Mac, he's running El Capitan 
and on both his version of Chrome and Safari, which which are uh, up to date, um, he's getting an error when he tries to go to the test site. Uh, so the site, so if you all could try to go to the test site, if you can, the link's in the description. It's just test.catechetics.com. I don't expect anybody to know how to spell catechetics. I always <laughs> have to think hard about it too. So use the, the link. Um, so if you're just joining and you're wondering why I was just on the phone with someone, this is, uh, this is just my normal work day. All right, and I'm, I'm narrating my work day, but at times I get interrupt, interrupted. Uh, so I, got, you know, I have to talk because I, I am getting paid to do this work, so I can't ignore everyone else. Uh, so I see we did lose some some viewers. If the uh, viewer count gets down really low, then I'll probably just cut off the stream because it's obviously uh, nobody wants to see it at that point. Uh, but otherwise, I'll keep it going for a while. I think it would be cool to keep it going until I launch, but I suspect that might not happen uh, for two reasons. One, uh, I think some other people will have to look at the site before I get the go ahead to say like it's going to go live. And uh, I don't want to just wait here and have nothing going on uh, to wait on their their response and, and their go ahead. The other reason is uh, I'm I'm getting just like super hungry right now, so I'm gonna have to take a break. So uh, if possible, uh, it's possible that maybe I can just um, live stream later on. I don't want to take up the free code camp uh, channel like all day, so. If I have to stop and then live stream later, maybe I'll just do it on my channel. Uh, I just I won't schedule it as an event. I'll just go on, uh, go on my channel. We'll, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna check the live chat really quick to see uh, if if anybody got the same error. Uh, somebody says Robert Bled saw said I saw the monstrous on the thumbnails. Like what's going on here? Yeah, you don't. <laughs> so in case you don't know uh, this. This, this image up here, this is a, a monstrance. So it's it's a Catholic thing. Um, so I imagine that that would be kind of odd to see that as like a coding video come up. But that's that's like the hero image for the site. And uh, that's that was like, we had to have that image in there. Um, ev everybody wanted that image to be in there and prominent. So... Um, yeah, so that's in there. Uh, somebody's asking, what's the error? Oh, John's asking, uh, what's the error? Um, I don't know uh, exactly what the error message is. I didn't get like a, a copy and, and paste. Uh, oh, yeah, actually, let me check my email. An unexpected error has occurred. That's it. I think it's just a gray screen with unexpected errors occurred. Like I said, I just I keep trying to go to all the pages there, and I can't get it to happen. Someone says, press one to die instantly. One. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, okay, my boss just said uh, he's having a tough time finding the full versions of those images, the, the larger versions to work. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, if, if we have to go with, with these images, I mean, the, the majority of people viewing the site probably will have a screen small enough that it would work. But I don't really want to take that that gamble. I, I think it just the site a site just looks a lot worse when you have images that aren't the proper size uh, and they're they're pixelated. So I'd really rather not have to do that. So and these are the kind of thing I don't I don't know if I can keep streaming the whole time because some of these things are a little bit out of my control. Um, and that's bad. I tried on Chrome Radio screen. Okay, so John says he's, he's tried it, um, and it looks fine. Shoot, yeah, and uh, it's not entirely, <clears throat> it's not entirely updated. Uh, I haven't pushed the changes to the server in a while, so uh, it won't match up with what you're seeing here on my local version exactly. But all right, well, I can see scroll bars in the team carts. Okay, you can see you can see scroll bars. What browser are you on that you can see the scroll bars? Because I definitely want to get rid of those. Let's do that next on the list. I, that's on my list. So I knew it happened in IE 11. Um, oh, actually, I have a great idea. Let's go to Browser Stack. 
I don't know why I didn't think of this. Browser stack. And let's go to Mac El Capitan and we'll try out let's just let's try out Safari. And we'll see. Uh because this is what um the other uh guy was running when he got the error. I'm assuming he was running the most updated one. So if we try to go on here, maybe we can get the same error. If you've never used... Alright, we got it. Let's check it out. What's the problem here? Anybody want to take a guess? I'm pretty sure I know what the problem is, but we'll see. We'll take a guess before we check out DevTools. Uh, inspect element. All right, so we're gonna see. Let's we'll see. We got three errors. I'll give you a second, another second to say what the uh, error is. Before I click over, I will tell you. I think it's because I'm using ES6 stuff, and maybe this version of Safari can't handle the ES6 stuff. Uh, and it maybe yesterday, the day before, we did switch. I think yesterday we switched out and, and transpiled some of the code so it would work. But then I switched back to the other code because I wasn't finished uh, editing it yet. So let's see. Can't kind of find error. Yes, that's it. That is the error. Okay, so that's great. That is great news. The error is simply that I'm using the variable let. Well, instead of var, I'm using let. That's an ES6 thing. That is not supported in this version of Safari. It's weird that it was happening on Chrome too. But maybe, maybe Chrome was older. I don't know. But that's it. So basically what will happen is we'll double check. We'll come back to this and double check once we transpile the JavaScript. Uh, it might be worthwhile to just transpile the JavaScript right now and put it on there. I don't foresee, let's see. Let's see if, uh, let's, ch let's check out our list and see if we have anything that's going to be JavaScript heavy. No, I don't, I don't think there's anything left we need to do where we'll have to edit that JavaScript file. Let's transpile it. We'll put it on the server, and then we can test it immediately and make sure that that was, in fact, the problem. If you want to know more about the whole issue with ES6 and let, watch yesterday's uh, show because I explained it in more depth yesterday. Uh, where am I going? I just, I honestly just forgot where I was trying to go. Oh, Babel. Babel, where am I? Try it out. Okay, I don't know if I actually, I could try to use this one, but in the off chance that I did edit this since yesterday, I don't remember if I did or not, we'll just get rid of all this. And we'll go in. Uh, normally, I would set up like automatic transpiling, but I didn't do that yet, so I'm just going to do this. I only really have one file that needs transpiled, so I think we're we're good uh, to go with that. Let me. Can I duplicate this? Let me see. Oh, well, um, there we go. Okay, cool. So we got this transpiled. We'll throw it in over here. I'm not even going to worry about backing this up because I have this saved from like so many previous commits. I could just grab it from, uh, from GitHub. So let's save that. We got a, where's my console? Here it is. Let's check out. Check out what we've been doing. What was the last thing we changed? We had content. We had, what was our last commit? Add hover effects. Okay, so what we did, we, we added, um, 
squigglies we did add some squigglies and we updated about text and transpile no no we never put past this we update about text and transpile yes all right, that's good. All right, awesome. Now let's let's go to the server. So I got the server over here. Actually, this is might be too small for you all to see. Let me let me bring it up a little bit. There we go. Maybe that's better. So just, just like we've been doing the last couple of days, SSH into the server, and this time I got everything ready. So I'm just chaining these commands with this double and sign. I don't think this works on Windows. I think it just works on Linux-based stuff. So be careful using it with Windows. I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm, I think that's the way it works. So this will just do all the stuff that we were doing manually before. So it stopped. It uh, went into the directory. Uh, man, did it miss something? There's no way it was that fast. No way. Yep, I, it was. I, I messed up uh, one thing. So it, in fact, it did not work because I messed it up. I needed to add run. So I need an npm run build. Uh, so if you see right here, I left that out. That's important. So let's just run it again. And we'll see. It'll. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let me just use this portion. Actually, no, this will work if I just CD out. Because this is assuming that I just logged in. Uh, okay. That was supposed to save me time. You see it did not. It will later on now that it, it's actually the right command. I'll just be able to throw that right in. I know there's probably a way for me to just like have this saved on the server and, and call it out, but I'll set that up at some point. Actually, here's a good question for, for everybody. Do you know of a way, I know this is possible, but I just haven't done it before, where I can set this up so that I'll have zero downtime when I update. So like right now, there's brief downtime while this thing builds. Somebody tried to go to the site right now, nothing would, you know, they'd see an error. What I want to happen is like maybe two different versions of this space, like a duplication of this, this node, uh, you know, app running. And I, so I can take one down, but then Nginx will automatically redirect traffic to the other one, update one, then bring that one back online and then update the other one. Is there a way to do that? If you know, that would be awesome. If you could give me like a link or something, uh, I probably won't have time to do it right now, but that would that would be great to implement in this project and uh, some future projects as well. All right, so that should be online now. Let's, I'll check it out real quick right here. Yay, okay, that works. Now, the real test. Let's go back in here. It logs you out pretty quick in browser stack if you don't do anything. Uh, no sense in wasting uh, a lot of a lot of bandwidth and and because uh, they I mean these are like real like virtual machines and stuff. You're on a real machine, so um, all right, yay! It works now. All right, let's click around just to be sure. See, so that was it. That was the problem. I was using some newer features of JavaScript that we, we call ES2015 features, or sometimes you hear ES6. Um, I was using some of those features that are not supported in Safari 9.1. So that's why it didn't work. Uh, I also, let's see what browsers they have. 
I wonder if they have another browser. No, they don't. I don't. Let's stop this and go out. I guess each instance you have to like. I was hoping I could just stay in that one instance and, and um, switch to Chrome, but I can't. So let's try the latest one. I, I was assuming that install extension. No, I don't really want to do that right now. Um, I was assuming it was the latest version that didn't work. That's what they said. They said they were running the latest version. It was all up to date. So we're going to try it on there. Um, we'll make sure that this works. Well, that was that was like a weird effect at first. I don't know if you guys caught that, but anyway. All right, it is working, working, working. Good, great. So, yeah, so if you're just joining us, we were getting errors because we were using new JavaScript features, so we transpiled the code using Babel, uh, and now it works. Awesome. So let's stop this. We don't need it anymore. Probably test a little bit later on when we launch if, if I have any any strength left. Now let's get to these scroll bars. So I had some of you say, wow, we picked up a couple of viewers. <laughs> I mentioned a, a little while ago that I forget to eat when I work, and someone said, I forget to work when I eat. <laughs> uh, I would like to have that problem a little bit more often. Somebody asked, what are we doing today? We're getting this site ready to launch, so we're doing anything that we have to do to get it ready to launch. So a little bit of, of everything here. Uh, testing and troubleshooting. We just did some browser testing. Doing a lot of like tiny little like UI tweaks. Um, or even copy and pasting some content. And uh, at some point, hopefully, we'll get the... Um, Domain name switched over, and we will set up the SSL. But I might have to take a break before that. So, all right, so let's get these. Somebody yesterday, I asked yesterday for some code to hide the scroll bars. So let me, let me put that in. And I'm going to check the chat from yesterday, and I saved it. So there's some good information in there. There we go. Uh, okay, white. No, that's not it. Scroll bar. Okay, so I'm going to copy some of this. Let me scroll up to see what browser. Oh, okay. Is it, they can see the browser in the latest Chrome version on Windows 10. Shoot. Yeah. All right. This stinks. We're going to have to fix this. Uh, so basically what happened was I wanted all these cards to be the same height. So let's, let's look at this. Um, let's check this out. Uh, let's do, uh, actually the team one is better. I wanted all these cards to be the same. Let me go on the live site. Um, okay. So I wanted these to all be the same height. But some people have really long titles, and they were wrapping on the other line. So as a quick fix, I just added this little scroll. On a Mac, you don't see it, so it still looks okay. On Windows, that doesn't happen. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to open up Chrome on Windows in Browser Stack. So we'll just go uh, Windows... We'll try Windows 10 and the latest version of Chrome. I'm using this so I can, basically because I want to be able to use DevTools, uh, Chrome's DevTools, because I like those the best. And I'm going to put in some of the code from DevTools to see if it works before we put it into our project. It loaded, so far so good. Oh, goodness, two scroll bars. Ugh. You're right, this does look really, really bad. 
I might just have to truncate things or, f I don't know, set a limit on the titles. Okay, so maybe, where am I going to put this on? Not the card. On the content? Let's move this over a bit. To have some more space. And here we go. Here's where we have all that scroll stuff. Okay. Oh shoot, I can't. Can I not paste into here? Yes, it worked. All right, so there's some of it. This isn't. I've, I've gotten. I've got some other stuff. I'm going to paste in and try to get it to work. Oh, um, I should not have pasted that. I should have pasted this. Let's see if this has any effect. No, because this would only work for. Yesterday we were talking about Internet Explorer, so we need to see if there's some equivalent. I know this isn't going to work, but it's worth a try. Dang it. Is there like a WebKit version? Let's try that. So here's the thing. We set overflow to none and we get rid of these, but then it's cut off. Right, so these the scroll bars look horrible. They do look really bad. Um, Alright, here's the fix. Right now, at this point, titles being cut off is less of an issue than, than these scroll bars. These look terrible because we still have a modal that will pop up. And we can see the full title in the modal. So... I'm going to let the titles get cut off for now. Maybe go in and either truncate the titles or possibly leave out the title. I hate to leave out the titles. Um, I also don't think I really have time to go in and manually uh, like cut down the titles. So, yeah, you're right, truncate. And, and you all were saying that yesterday, too. I should have just tried out the truncate uh, yesterday. Um yeah, this always felt like not a great idea, just kind of like a quick solution, and it was definitely um, not a great idea. So, glad uh, that I'm really glad that you all caught that. Thank you. And this is what it, I am a little bit slower when I do the live stream because I'm explaining things and talking, but you all catch stuff like that. So, Sometimes it really saves me a lot of time or saves me from like launching a site with a, a really ugly UI in that case. So I think it's a good trade off uh, all in all. Like, you know, we kind of work on this collaboratively. Uh, I give up a little bit of my time, but then I get all of your collective knowledge to help as well. I think it's a good trade. Uh, 
Where did I put this? So we're done. I, I'm closing out app.js because we transpiled it. We put it on there. I don't want to edit it anymore. Any more JavaScript that I have to write, I'm going to try to write directly in the components. If I use ES6 in the components, it'll get automatically transpiled by Next or whatever. They'll do something with it so that it works uh, behind the scenes. So what I want to do now is go, let's go to that team card component because I probably put these in line styles on it. Overflow. What did I say? None? I think that's what I did. Yep. Okay. So this will do, uh, basically, we've prevented the text from wrapping, which is what we want. So the cards will be even. Otherwise, you get like a really weird stack. If I had more time, I would try to use maybe something that would uh, possibly do like a masonry style layout. That could work. I don't know. Uh, but I don't have time to mess with that. In my experience, those have always taken way like more time than I, I want them to take when I try to do masonry layouts. Uh, with some type of JavaScript uh, plugin. So they're not going to make the cards all different heights, but it is going to cut off this at the end here. And I will. It's not going to be cut off on every screen size. Certainly, once the screen is bigger, it'll be off, be fine. Once you're on a phone, it, there's definitely going to be stuff that gets cut off. But all it takes is one click to see it all. I'm not really happy about shipping the site with that, but I'd say that can go on the list of things that don't absolutely have to be ready uh, today. You can feel free to disagree and let me know uh, why you, if you think that that really should be fixed. Uh, I'm just at the point now where we got to make some tough decisions about what launches. Also, I don't really expect to get like a million people viewing this site today either. So if we launch and it's not like perfect, what's ever perfect when you launch though, but let's say it's not perfect. It's not like, you know, so, so many people are gonna see this. I think the last time, this site is gonna get more viewers than, than my last time I had a really rushed project. But the last time I had a really rushed project, it was like, super rush like can you do this by tomorrow and um i did it and then for like two hours i looked at the analytics and no one visited the site <laughs> and i was it's like are you serious i stayed up half the night and then slept for three hours and came in early and did this site and no one even went to it so that that was bad uh i mean i wasn't super mad about it but it was it was slightly annoying all right so we fixed this. I forgot to set my timer again. So I guess I'll just estimate one. The, the testing of it took a little while. It probably is more like a half, but it's close enough. All right, the list is getting down. It's going down farther. So let me um, check my email real quick, make sure we didn't get any other changes yet. Uh, oh, this might be... All right, I, I may have, there's some new content, but I think it's stuff that can be put in through the content management system. So I think I'm good with that. Sorry, I'm checking my email on the other screen. I don't, don't think that the people I work for would appreciate me uh, checking the email in front of everybody uh, watching on YouTube. So I try to do everything I can on the main screen, but there's some stuff that I shouldn't show to the world. Not because it's bad, just because it's just like, you know, private stuff or a password or something like that. <clears throat> okay. All right. We may have to make a change. We may have to change a link here in a second. That's not a big deal. All right. Sorry, I'm I'm reading an, I'm reading an email from my boss, or at least one that I got cc'd on. Oh, uh, okay. 
this could be a major change. So, oh, shoot. See, I, I don't like... This might be something that should just be put off because I, I don't think it's that big of a deal right now. But, I mean, the people who suggest changes, whether they be a client or other people involved, their change always does seem like an important change at the time. In the grand scheme of things, I don't think this is that important, but here's the change that might happen. Why does this look not great right now? Because I zoomed in or what? I don't like this. You see this hi highlighting? How it looks like... Oh, well. I'll, I'll check it out later on, I guess. Um, so this is supposed to... This is pulling data in from WordPress. So this is a custom post type with all these custom fields. I'm pulling it in through the API. So this is why it's a bigger change than it seems. It's been requested by, I don't even know, uh, I just skimmed the email, but to add another section here that will say whether or not this event requires registration. My boss is arguing that it doesn't. It's not necessary to have that in there, and I tend to agree. We already have a lot of stuff here. What would have to happen is I'd have to go back in and edit that uh, the custom fields for that custom post type, and then I'd have to edit the... the code that I'm using on the React side to pull that in uh, and add another thing. So rather not do that, uh, but maybe it'll happen. Hopefully not. Uh, but you see, it's kind of cool that the role that my, my boss often plays for me is awesome in that I wasn't directly, I didn't have to directly respond to that email. I'm CC'd on that email. I can see what's going on. But uh, he is taking care of that for me, so that saves me a lot of time and helps me to focus. So it's definitely cool. I mean, think if you were maybe at a smaller agency or something, like it would be like the role of a project manager. I mean, he's he's basically like a project manager for all the projects that we that we have here. He also handles a lot of social media stuff. He's good with that. All right, I'm gonna check the live chat just for a second because I I need just a, a little. A little break here. Oh shoot, I just remembered. I have scroll bars uh, on another page too. And I bet a scroll bar shows up here. I can't do anything about that though. Um, yeah, I can't. Why is this? Alright, so this is this is annoying that this is dropping down lower. Um, that's that's uh, kind of like small enough. I don't need to worry about that now. It is going to bother me though. Uh, there's another page where we had scroll bars. All right, resources. That's where we had scroll bars. So dang it, those are going to show up. <sighs> How bad do these look with scroll bars? Dang it. All right, let's check it out with scroll bars. Let's go back in here. Yeah, once again, I keep seeing people say truncate. Somebody said add the truncate class. Last time I tried to use truncate, it... Um, it like wouldn't work on a multiple line thing. Uh, <laughs> I should look at the uh, keep up with the um, live chat more often because a minute ago somebody just said check resources. That's where the scroll bars are, and I'm over here trying to think about what it was. No, nah, not the team. So they're still on there. I didn't push the updates yet. Resources. This, like, the scroll is not very good at all on this. I, I'm hoping it's just because it's on a virtual machine, like, through browser stack, and this isn't actually the experience for for people. All right, hold up. I got my wife calling. I'm going to take this. Hello? Hey. How's it going? I don't know. 
you can watch. I'm still on the, on on YouTube Live. You're on the live uh, stream right now. Yeah, I just decided to keep live streaming it because I'm like, I'm really out of it, so I, I need some help. Uh, no, don't don't worry about me being home for dinner. You you guys can just eat, and uh, I need to eat. I don't need anything yet, so I need to take a break here and eat something. I think I have a breakfast sandwich in the freezer. I know, I miss you guys too. Hopefully, this will be the last day. This will be the last day, and then I'll 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 get out. I'll get out early. A bunch of days coming up. Make up for it. All right. All right. Love you. Oh no. Oh shoot. Uh, what? Yeah, just send me a text and remind me to do it, and I'll pick it up on the way home. Love you too. Okay. Sorry about the interruption. Um, interesting stuff. A month or two into trying to learn this stuff. This is lightning to see. Okay, somebody in live chat says enlightening to see. Awesome. I'm glad that uh, this is serving some some purpose. The nearby event has it too. Yeah. The um, the nearby event thing. That's gonna have it. And I can't really do anything about that. Um, uh, they, the other people involved in the project actually wanted the scroll bar in there. That's why I added the stuff on the bottom, the little buttons that scrolled horizontally, because they wanted the scroll bar in there, but it wouldn't show up on a Mac. Uh, so I'm going to leave that in there. But whether whether or not it looks good is a, a different question, but they want to make sure people know that you can scroll sideways horizontally on that. These things, all right, let's 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 try to add this truncate class and see. No, let's not do it here. All right, we got a link to put on the site. Let's just throw this link on here right now so I don't have to make a note and remember it. Oh, and we got a Google Analytics script to put on too. Awesome. We'll throw in both of those things. We'll throw in the script. And... Hopefully I can do, is anybody, can you just throw in analytic script and do a React component? Does that work? I got to look up, let me look up a site I did a couple of months ago, because I know I put analytic script in there, and it was a React site. Uh, all right, I'm looking it up right now on the other screen. Mm, maybe I would have put it in the footer component. That seems like a good spot where I would have put it. Yep, I did. Okay. Oh, you have to dangerously set H enter HTML to get it to work. Good thing I looked it up. Now I'll copy and paste this and just change the uh, the thing. Is there any danger in me having my analytics property code out? I don't really know. I'll just do it on the other screen. So basically, no, there's no danger. That's publicly viewable from DevTools. So forget it. I'm not going to put it on another screen. Uh, what am I thinking? Yeah, any code that's client-side code, everybody can see it anyway. So, somebody just joined. Are you trying to suppress scroll bars? Yes, I am. Oh, somebody said I should mute my mic when talking to someone else just in case. That's a good idea. <laughs> I haven't been doing it just because I don't know how to do it. I've never had to mute my mic yet. And... Uh, so I'm using software that uh, o OBS, I think, uh, and just like the default mic that comes with an iMac. So I never really had to have uh, muted it before. So I'll have to look. Um, hope, so far, I don't think I've said anything that shouldn't have been heard. Um, maybe it's stuff that you guys didn't want to hear, but uh, I don't think it's anything that shouldn't have been there. All right, so I need to add in to the footer component the analytics code. 
I've been waiting and my boss made the analytics property. He got me the code. This is actually the code I used on a previous site. So I'm going to go back and just grab that. If you've never used Google Analytics on your site, this isn't the only way to do it, but this is one way that's easy. You just put in this code. This is just standard code that they give you. And uh, it's the same code all the time, except you just change out this little number here, this ID number. And then uh, and then it it works, and you'll track it. So I put it in. I try to put it in a component that I know is going to be everywhere, and there will be a footer, the same footer, everywhere. So now it'll be on all my pages. So that's done, and that was actually on our list, so we can move one over. And that was super fast. Wonderful. It just feels satisfying to move things over to the done list and see it grow. Uh, all right. Correct URLs. Let's add... What were we going to do? We were going to add this, uh, this link in. Let me let me open this and grab the link. Okay, so there's a button on the site now that goes to a site that's not ready yet on the courses page. So this is basically just like kind of a marketing site for this program. This is a, a whole like custom learning management system, and this is supposed to link to it, but it's not ready yet. There's not even like a coming soon page yet. So we need to replace this with, it's actually just going to link to uh, a PDF. Oh, somebody said you can mute OBS with a hotkey. So, uh, cool. Yeah, this uh, somebody asked if the session will be available after it ends. It will be available. I have to watch, though. Okay, I'm good. I think, like, a session after, like, four hours, maybe it doesn't get... There was some limited four hours I remember reading about, so... Hopefully I won't take four hours. I actually I am gonna take a break really soon. Maybe maybe as soon as I update this link, I'm gonna do it. I'll also try to do like I'll try to truncate that. But I'm just getting too hungry and I can't even think right now. So uh, I'll take a break and then maybe. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a break right after I do this link. Then I'm not going to do another live stream on Free Code Camp channel because they're they're nice enough to let me stream on this channel and I don't want to take advantage of that and be on here all the time and uh, you know I, I don't know if this content is going to be like really good what they kind of what they want so if I come back and stream later on which I might do I'm going to do it on my own channel so you can uh, go to my channel there and see if if there's a stream happening. Um, I'm I'm not trying to beg for subscribers here, but if you subscribe, I think you will get an alert if I go live. So if you want to get alerted, you know, go ahead and do that. But I'll stream on my channel, and then that way I don't, you know, I can I can stream and and be really tired like I am. And if I say something crazy or do something crazy because I'm tired, then uh, I won't be an embarrassment to Free Code Camp at that point. It'll just be to myself. So so that's the plan. Let's just change this link. I mean, not, not that you all want to watch me change a link. Uh, that's pretty simple. Uh -huh. What page is that on? Courses. I'm glad there's not that many pages in this site. This would get ridiculous to uh, to try to manage if it was a really large site. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to think of some other way to manage this when I try to apply this to a larger site. All right. We have Franciscan Natan. There we go. And here's our here's our link. And let's put it there. I'm gonna keep the same title there because it, it basically works. It's taking them to some information about Franciscan at home. Alright, great. And that should have hot reloaded. No, that's because that's the live site. Let's go back here. Uh, courses. And Yep, that works, and I'm going to try to go there. All right, it works. Always test your links out uh, at some point. Uh, you, you never know if you might have messed something up accidentally and you got a broken link because you copy and pasted wrong. If you've watched my previous videos, copy and paste errors are real, and they can mess up your day. So, <laughs> um, All right, everybody. 
I'm be, I'm gonna save everything from this live chat, and I will go through it at some point. I just don't have time right now. So, if there's something that you asked me that I didn't get to that you really wanted to ask me, or something that you wanted to tell me that would be helpful that I didn't see, put it in a comment uh, on this video, uh, and then I'll definitely see it. Uh, I'll I'll read this chat too, so I guess I'll see it eventually. But if you put in a comment, I can respond back to it. Thanks for sticking around for a long time. We still have 17 viewers after two and a half hours, which is which is great. Uh, probably not too many people stayed the whole time, but uh, hopefully you you learned, picked up something useful, or at least got an idea of um, you know how things are on launch day at times. It's not always this crazy on launch day. I usually have more time and and things run a lot more smoothly. But when you're on a tight schedule, this is kind of how it works. So. I'm going to go now. Um, I'll probably do a live stream tomorrow. I don't really know what it'll be about. I guess it depends on how the site's running and if there any extra work needs done on it. I'm going to go now and get something to eat. I might start to stream again on my own channel, so you can check me out there. Uh, thanks for all the advice. Uh, you all were great and helped me uh, find a lot of stuff that would have taken me a lot longer to find. Uh, I really appreciate it. So I'll, I'll either talk to you later today or tomorrow.